In this video, we'd like to show you how to calibrate the MyWay I-500 scale. This is an extremely popular scale because it's extremely affordable. It's a great bit of scale. Um, we're going to show you how to do the calibration. So with this scale here, this is 500 grams by a tenth of a gram, and we'll put on a 500 gram mass and see what it reads. So it's, it's calibrated already, but let's just go through the calibration to show you exactly how to calibrate the scale. So, what you need to do, the first thing you need to do to perform calibration is shut off the scale. And what you need to do is you have to press the zero button and hold this down while turning the on button and then release. So now I release. And the scale is going to show you a random number from the A to D converter. And you can see the number is going to move around slightly, but as long as it's in that area, so you can see here this is... 30,487, 86. And so what we need to do is store this value. This is the zero reference point. And so we're going to press the mode or set button to store that value. And when we do so, the scale shows zero, zero save, meaning it stored the zero reference voltage. And now it's showing that we need a 500 gram calibration weight. Now, the I-500 does not come with a cow mass. This is an optional accessory. And we highly recommend you buy the weight so that you can perform calibration. So I have a 500 gram weight and we're going to put it on the center of the platform. And the next step in calibration is once again, we're going to press the set mode key. Press it once. And again, we're going to see a random number from the A to D converter. So you saw a zero, zero save, meaning it stored the value at full scale. And then this is the number coming off the A to D converter. It, it means nothing. It's just a random number. To you, it means nothing at all. And what you want to do now is shut off the scale, take the calibration weight off the balance, turn the scale back on, and you'll notice the scale does a countdown. So it's going nines all the way to one, and then it goes zero, zero. And if we put the 100 gram weight on, uh, the 500 gram weight on the scale, the scale is now calibrated. The scale has a tolerance of plus or minus uh, 0.1 gram. That's how it reads. So you see here, this is 500.1. There it is, 500.0. So the scale is within tolerance. Um, a few more features I'd like to just show you about this scale that makes it very, very unique. Um, the ability to change wave modes is real simple. All you have to do is press the mode key and you'll notice here on the bottom we have grams, ounces, pounds, troy ounces, penny weight, carats, grains, piece weight. And you'll notice that the little arrow illuminates as we change the wave mode. So we're in grams now. The next one, this is ounces. The next mode is pounds. Then we have, tro uh, then we have troy ounces, Penny weight, a lot of uh, people buying scrap gold and silver or whatever they want to uh, weigh in penny weight. Now this scale is not legal for trade, but a lot of hobbyists, if they don't want to buy an expensive legal for trade scale, uh, this would be an affordable scale. But again, the MyWay I-500 is not legal for trade. And then we have carrots, grains, piece count, and we're back to grams. Now a nice thing about this scale I just want to show you is if we were to leave the scale, we'll say, in penny weight. And if we were to shut off the scale, when I power back up the scale, the scale will go to the last way mode it was in. So you'll notice I am now in penny weight because that's what I shut the scale off in. That's a real nice feature. A lot of uh, competitive brands out there on the market, uh, once you shut off the scale, it will go back to the factory default, which is for most scales, grams. So again, I'm just going to press the mode key and I'm back to grams. Another feature I'd like to show you about the MyWay i500 is on the left hand side of the display we have this weigh meter. The weigh meter on the display you'll notice is a series of bars and as the load increases and decreases these bars go higher and lower. And this gives you an idea of how much weighing capacity you have left in the balance. So I have, for example, here, we're just going to tear this. Oh, there it is. Don't have to do that. 
we'll put a 200 gram weight on the balance. And then if I were to put other weights on the balance, you'll notice here the, the weigh meter on the left hand side is giving me an idea of how much weighing capacity I have left. So there's another 50 grams and then here's another 20 grams. So that's a nice feature that again a lot of competitor scales on the market do not offer. A uh, couple more little features about the MyWay i500. This scale operates off of AC adapter or batteries. So on the bottom of the scale, if we flip it over, I have another scale for this demonstration. You can see we can use six AA batteries. Um, the scale does come standard with the AC adapter. So that's a nice feature also. A lot of manufacturers for, these, uh, for this price range do not include the AC adapter. So this is our demonstration of the MyWay i500. We are an authorized MyWay dealer. We always have these in stock. Extremely affordable scale. A lot of the schools are buying these scales. They're very price conscientious and uh, MyWay is really the way to go. Uh, the scale does have a nice stainless steel platform. This platform is removable for easy cleaning. Um, multiple weigh modes. The, the only issue we would say we highly recommend is purchasing the calibration weight. And you need a 500 gram calibration weight. Uh, we sell these at balances.com as an optional accessory. And we would highly recommend you purchase it. So that's our video. On the MyWay i500, this is a great balance. It's been on the market for a while. It's extremely affordable, and we highly recommend it for people that are looking to spend the least amount for accurate weighing results. Thank you, and visit our website, balances.com, or our new site, scaleman.com.